the VIP and our resistance contact are hunkered down and holding position somewhere in this area. Our highest priority is locating them first, but keep an eye out for any additional survivors nearby. Once you've secured the targets, move to the designated coordinates for extraction. Keep your heads up out there, people. Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays XCOM 2 and I'm having another go at one of the uh, challenge missions this time. These are the uh, ones that were, were produced as daily challenges when the game first came out but I'm able to now work my way through the archives. And so for today's mission I seem to have a, what is a gatekeeper which is a sort of a big sphere of, of doom that can transform into a sort of a, a Lovecraftian horror sphere and al also back again and that's always a free movement unless I believe if, you, if you've already finished your turn, if you've already fired then you can't do that so you can you potentially leave yourself vulnerable. So I'll leave it in sphere mode for the moment where it's got loads and loads of armour and should be really well protected. I've also got um, an advent trooper. These guys are almost useless. They are, they're capable of shooting but they can't, they're, they're, un, they're not really capable of hitting and they can't take very much abuse. We've got the officers who are slightly better and more importantly come with a grenade which might come in very very useful. And we've got an Advent Priest who has a few useful things like Stasis, he can do Mind Control, and Holy Warrior where he gives somebody a load of extra shielding. Um, and, and, um, and then there's other sort of normal stuff as well. So as, as Bradford said earlier, we need to get this, rescue this scientist up here, and uh, this apparently some um, well th th apparently that's one of them uh, there's a couple of um, people out Ooh, is that another one yes a couple of people out here we can rescue as well who will add add to our squad if we need it. So let's advance first with the tank. We'll move it as we'll move it this far at least. And uh, see what see what we find, because uh, at the moment I'm still not okay. I was going to say I'm not sure what we're what, what we're going to be encountering, and it seems to so far just be crows. So I don't really want to go any further than that, just in case any anything drops in on us. So I'll um, I'll move the the units up forward a little bit, um, and try and have at least a little bit of cover, just in case things go horribly horribly wrong. Maybe I can move someone over to by this win window over here, and then finally bring the troop. We'll put the trooper behind the car out of uh, so, so, so he's out of the way. Okay, and from here we can now drop into a, an overwatch all, so everybody drops into overwatch and we'll keep an eye out for any enemies that move. Um, and the gatekeeper can't overwatch, interestingly, so I'll just have to end turn for them. Okay, no, still nothing. No, no sign of any enemies, which is probably a good thing. Let's move all the way forwards to here. That's basically as far forwards as I can to get a bit of, uh, a bit of scouting going. Um, and up there's yes, there's the first resistance contact. So we can go over here. We can tag him, and he'll come and join the squad. I can hear noises, but I don't see any evidence of where these noises are coming from. Okay, well we'll move the um, move the officer up along the along the side of the building a little bit, and into, uh, keep him in cover, and maybe we'll see what's going on inside this building as well. Nope, still looks looks to be nice and quiet. Okay, so continue with plan A, which is to just generally advance people up and keep them in there, keep them in cover in case we find anything that wants to take a pot shot at us. Um, the soldier seems, the squaddy seems to be a little bit slow moving, so we'll do we'll do a slightly faster move with him and get him get him into cover over here as well. Keep keep the squads together, more or less. Right, and another Overwatch and see what we find. And yeah, we know you can't Overwatch. We'll try. Okay, so there. enemies off in that direction. Okay. What are we going to see? Oh, joy, chrysalids. Okay, well, I haven't really dealt with, um, I haven't really dealt with chrysalids so far uh, in, X in XCOM 2, so I've no idea really what they're capable of. I remember them from the original 1994 XCOM game, where they were um, extremely dangerous, should we say, because they could come over and they could do enormous quantities of damage. They could they could basically take out a shot soldier in, in no matter what armor they're in with a single shot. I'm pretty sure that in the more advanced in, in sorry, in the, I'm pretty sure that in XCOM 1, the first of the new games, they're a lot less dangerous and you can just take you can take them out a, a bit more easily. A 70% shot chance isn't amazing. But I think let's take a pot shot anyway and try and take take try and take one of these out, see what they're like. Because I my, my be this beam weapon does 9 to 12 damage. That's pretty good. That's going to be it's not quite a guaranteed kill against Chrysler because he's got one point of armor, so it's actually an eight to eleven, and he's got 10, 10 health. So call that a fifty percent chance of killing it. And if not, maybe we can fin then finish it off with one of the uh, humanoid enemies, uh, humanoid troops. Or we could just straight up miss. I guess that's fine too. Um, and we've now revealed ourselves, which means the Chrysler's are all going to come scampering over. That's that. That's not. Re that's really not ideal. Okay, well they're all bunched up, so I think this is a, this is a good time to drop in a frag grenade on them all like this, and that'll at least bring them down to um, a, 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 an amount of health where, when hit by the, the the sphere of doom, it's going to be a guaranteed kill. Um, 
I'm also going to hope that they are going to focus all of their attacks on said Sphere of Doom, uh, because it's got loads and loads of armor and loads and loads of health, and, you know, it's not biological, so hopefully it's going to be a little bit um, harder for Chrysalis to do damage to. So there we go, that's suitably shredded now. Let's, and from here, oh, I think the best thing to do here is going to be to put one of them in stasis. So let's pick one. They're all functionally identical at the moment. Let's pick the one at the front anyway, just because that's going to be the one that's going to find it easiest to run up to us. We'll put him in stasis with the, uh, with the, um, with the priest. Like that. There we go. Now that one is, that one's harmless for a turn. Only for one turn, granted, but it's harmless for that, that long. And... We'll take a shot with the uh, the trooper. He's probably not going to hit because he's a trooper and they're a bit crap. But, oh gosh, you know, take it back. He got in the hit there, so that's, that's good. So we're now in a position where next turn... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. So it's attacked the, um, it's attacked the Sphere of Doom. Um, in fact, they both attacked the Sphere. One of them missed. The other one, the one that did hit, did one point of damage because, well, the Sphere is has loads of armor. So that's, 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 that's really good. Now, we've got one of them, two of them that are still at nine, not eight or nine health, and we've got one here that's down at five. So the five we can potentially kill with the with the regular soldiers. So let's use the, um, the spheres attack to try and take out, yes, this one that's still at eight, because this is a guaranteed kill on, on hit. So if it manages to hit this time, and a 70%, hopefully it will, then this is a guaranteed kill. Let's give it a shot. There we go, that's what I was looking for. And now the others, I want to get the officer a bit further away because otherwise he's going to get attacked by the, might get attacked by the chrysalid and he's a squishy target so we don't want that. We do however want to shoot this nearby chrysalid, he's only going to do 3 to 4 damage unless he, unless he does crit and there is a 10% chance of that. So this probably isn't going to be a kill, but if he can soften it up, okay, I mean 3, 3 is, is, is okay, it brings it down to the level where it can definitely kill it with either of the two others because this, this one isn't going to do less than 2 damage on a hit. Do you have any special... You have a mind control powers. And that was some really loud thunder. I don't know whether you heard that or not. Um, apparently we're getting thunder around here. So let's try for the... Um, let's try for just shooting this one straight up with the um, with the trooper. Okay, I take back the anyone can do two damage. Um, because apparently that's not true when, when something like that happens. Um, so now I have... Let's see. So I can, I can try and mind control that one. Or I can try and shoot this one. I think probably let's mind control this one and then send it running away up the road. Maybe we'll find some more chrysalids and we'll be able to attack them because we've nearly finished with this pod. Uh, so I think that's and I, and I haven't played with mind control yet. So you know I think it'd be fun to and that's at a hundred percent as well. So that's a, that's a, definitely seems like a worthwhile attack. Now I don't know if the hundred percent means a hundred percent guaranteed mind control, but it does seem to have worked. So um, yeah, now we've got. Got a crystal in my control. Hope, I'm hoping that, desperately hoping that one will just attack the hard target again. Yes, it is. Crystal is not very smart, so that's that's actually that's a really good thing. Now, um, let's have another go at taking it out. Let's. Uh, we'll use the. Hmm. Use the troop. No, uh, let's let's move the trooper forwards. And then use him, because I mean, we're, surely one of them is going to be able to hit this enemy. So we'll move, move forward, and then we'll take what's hopefully going to be an easy shot. 77%, not too bad. Yes, there we go. That's the hit we wanted last time, which would have been a, which is a straight, it would have been a kill last time, but sadly we had to wait that that extra bit. Right, let's take you, and have, have you just run straight up here and see if we can do a little bit of reconnaissance with you. Up here, yes, there we go. There's another pod. So, with any luck, we'll get a little bit of infighting between the chrysalids here, and they'll sort of start to squabble with each other. Um, however, an alternative... Hmm. Yeah, let's leave them to all fight, fight it out amongst themselves, but I will bring the um, I will bring the Sphere of Destiny up forward a little bit, and take a pot shot at one of the enemy... one of the still still enemy chrysalids, I think. So, it seems to be this, this shot always has a 70% hit chance. I think it doesn't make any difference which one we fire at. But hopefully, as I say, 50-50 chance of a kill from this. At least that's my hope. Nice. So that was single shot, single kill. That's that's the sort of that's the sort of effectiveness we're looking for from the uh, from the sphere here. And now let's bring the other guys forwards. So that wall is still standing for the time being. Um, but no, he can't reach it. Can the officer get there? No. It's probably about time we thought about rescuing the VIP, of course. Um, now, I've wasted quite a few potential points I might have earned on this mission by not rescuing him sooner. But, 
I think if I had tried to rescue him sooner, then we'd have just got, we'd have had less firepower available. Things would probably have gone badly. So I'm going to move up here, and he can't see anything useful. So he's probably going to end up doing an Overwatch. We'll bring the um, bring the officer forward. Actually, we'll bring the officer all the way forward to here. Then maybe maybe next turn he'll be able to do some useful shooting, unless the building collapses on him and kills him. Well, we, we shall see. And then next turn we'll send the trooper up to go and rescue the VIP and, and, and get them coming out coming our way. We'd also quite like I'd also quite like to tag in the uh, this guy over here for just that little extra bit of firepower for when we've got when we're trying to concentrate all of the uh, all the fire on one enemy. So my hope is that in the next in the next alien turn the two chrysalids out here will dogpile this one, probably kill it. And that's probably fine because, you know, it's an enemy. My only concern is that they might turn it into some sort of chrysalid zombie. I guess we'll we'll see what happens when that when that starts. But then as soon as it's our turn again, we can then start shooting them. Hopefully we'll get another um, straight up kill with the uh, with the sphere. And then all of the uh, all the guys with machine guns can then hopefully, hopefully take out the other one. So let's see how that goes. Do I have anyone left? Yes, we have you. Um actually let's move you forward so you're in a slightly better position for the next turn, depending on whether we need to do any relocating. And now it's the alien's turn. Yeah, so there we go. We're getting the, these. This is the sort of the attacks I was expecting from the from the chrysalids. So they okay. They've killed the one that I had mind controlled, which I mean it counts as an enemy killed apparently. So you know, thank you. I'll take that one. <laughs> that's good. There's been a bit of explosion over here, but that's fine. Uh, so the next plan, first plan, first step of the plan is to run the uh, the the trooper because he's mostly useless in up here to tag this guy and get him at least mobile so we can hopefully move him to somewhere somewhere reasonably safe we've got another we still got 21 minutes to finish this mission so that's plenty of time there we go so I've tagged him okay so we've got one operative up there and we know about this guy over here yes thank you Bradford okay so let's try and make it safe to get through here. So we've got another one. I mean, once again, as far as I can tell, the two the two crystals are functionally identical. I think that one's slightly further away, so we'll go for that one. Get an extreme close up, and it turns out not a kill. Okay, so the reason I fired first with the uh, with the sphere is because since we didn't get a kill with the, the, the sphere, we can now try and finish it off with the. Uh, oh, I went for the one that's slightly further away, so I can't finish it off from here. Um, but still, I can try. I can move him a little bit closer. And then try and finish that one off with one of, with my other other guy. Actually, on the on, on the other hand, this guy's got his, he's got his stasis back up again. So if we move the officer forward to um, to here, I think he might be a better shot anyway. So let's go for the one that's injured because I think it's a seventy percent chance, which is it's not amazing, but it's it's not too bad. We can hopefully get a kill on that one. There we go. That's what I wanted. So it was a it was a crit. So, but yeah, I'll take it. I'll, um, it was definitely a kill, and that's that was that was the um, the objective there. Uh, the scientist up there is still available for, for for reasons, and now we can shove this one in stasis, which means it won't be able to do anything in its next turn, and we are currently still safe. There we go. And as I learned in my previous run, the stasis seems to be a more or less hundred percent guaranteed to uh, to, to uh, successful attack. Let's bring the scientist down here. Get him back out, out of the um, out of the burning apartment building, drop him down to the ground, and he can come around and join us in the sort of the, 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 the sort of the further back observation point. Uh, oh, okay. There's another pod of crystals coming in. That's not what I wanted. However, hopefully we'll be able to do something about those. That one's now back out of stasis. Right, things are getting a little bit tricky here now. So. I believe this sphere thing if we, uh, has an alternative attack mode. Um, where did the third one go? I'm sure these, these guys come out in threes, not in packs of three normally. Um, let's run him back to somewhere a little bit further away, so the chrysalids will hopefully concentrate on the on the sphere. Get him over here like that, and then we can op with the sphere. I believe if we open up, I think there's an alternative um, attack we have available. It'll mean we'll take slightly more damage when the crystal is attacked. But yes, now we have the gateway attack. We also have consume. Maybe I should maybe I'm, maybe I should move a little bit closer and then try consume. Um, alternatively, I can do the gateway attack, which does a huge amount of damage on a huge area and will in fact get all three of those chrysalids and a big area behind it as well, behind them as well, where I think there might be a fourth chrysalid. So I think that's going to do. Well, five to seven damage to three to four chrysalids. I think that's very, very worth doing. Um, they're not humanoid enemies, so even if we did 
get some sort of weird crit and manage to kill them, it wouldn't it wouldn't raise them as psionic zombies. But never mind, you can't get everything, can you? Um, it won't let me put it here. Why will it not? It's showing here. It's showing here as somewhere where I can fire this attack off to, but not letting me actually do it. So maybe I'll move over this way a little bit. How's that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you can't you can't open a gateway actively underneath a car by the look of it. There we go. So that's done suitable damage to all three of those. Now. Well, now we just see if we can finish one of them off from here. Um, I, I think it's going to take both shots to kill one of these, unless we get lucky and get a crit, because the maximum damage there is four, and, so, and it's got two extra points of health left after that. So the crit might, if it gets one, but alternatively no, we'll just do the three damage, and now it's still got two points of health and one of armour. Still, we can carry on. I've got no special psionic abilities recharged at the moment. We need to wait for those to, to re restore and recharge, re whatever. There we go. So we managed to take another one as well. I want. I, I have got. I've, got, I've still got the guy upstairs. So the question is, if I move him up to the windows here, can he shoot down? What are these windows like? These windows all seem to be a bit iffy for shooting out of, by the looks of it. I'm not sure I trust them. I've got this, got this feeling. If I move him to here, the um, the shutters on this window are going to mean he won't be able to see down and shoot the crystal. In. But I think I might as well try anyway because there's, basically there's no reason not to. Uh, yes, oh, no, 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 he can't, he can't see the crystallid from there, which is very unhelpful. Now, finally, I've got the scientist left who can still move. My thought is, if oh, have I, have I gained control? No, I haven't gained control of this guy yet. So if I run the scientist over here, can the scientist tag him in and get him into the fight? Let's find out. Yes, he does count as a player character. Excellent. So we've got, we've got two crystallids over here. They're both at partial health. Um, I think I might as well take a pot shot at this one. They're both 56% chance of a hit. It's fairly unlikely. Um, however, let's let's move him over here. He's not in. He's not going to be in cover. Actually, no. Let's let's not because if I put him to here, he might not be able to get the shot in because of this piece of um, whatever alien technology that is. And over here, I think he's out of range of the crystallids. And hopefully, I'm, I'm still hoping they're going to prioritise on the on the um, on the gatekeeper because it's near because it's nearer. Actually, because of that, let's move him to here because he's definitely further away. Because I'm basically because I'm paranoid. And then from here, okay, you can only shoot at this one now. But that is still a valid and worthwhile target. And some more damage. Excellent. Uh, you're just going to have to go on Overwatch because you can't apparently can't see out of the window, which is very unhelpful. <clears throat> right, so this time it took three damage because it had the uh, armor open and therefore... Oh, well, it's closed it up again now. Um, so it had significantly less armor available. Oh dear, it's attacking that soldier. Ah. Oh. I did not want that to happen. I really did not want that to happen. Um, because, as you can see, he's now turned into a chrysalid... Um, what, what's it called? It's turned into a chrysalid cocoon, which has a lot of health. But if we don't destroy it, more chrysalids are going to come out of it. That said, right now, these actual the actual chrysalids are significantly more of a danger to us. So let's try and finish them off. Or alternatively, it'll just dodge the attack. That's not helpful. Um, that soldier's dead. I can't use him. You can shoot that. You've got 60% on that one, 60% on that one. How much damage does your attack do? Um, three to four. So you're not going to be able to kill that one. You're not going to be able to kill that. Let's let's try and let's finish off this chrysalid. Oh, for goodness sake! Right. You need. You don't have any ammo left, so you need to reload anyway. And you still can't do anything. So there's. Let's bring you outside at least, so that next turn we'll be able to have him do, at least do something. Because at the moment he's completely useless. Now, I was hoping to be able to um, shoot, to be able to put put some damage down on this um, on this thing, or possibly be down to only one chrysalid left. But at this point, I think we need to kill this one because it's too close to the humanoid um, soldiers on my side, and if they get attacked by chrysalids, it's going to go extremely badly. So we're going to have to kill this one. Even though that's a massive waste of damage output. So that's a real shame. But I don't think there's much else I could do. Uh, you, I need to just get out of the way. Run, because if you die, then we lose the mission. So we'll hide you back, right back here. Crystal, there we go. Attacks the sphere. It misses, which is good. Because the sphere it seems to be quite slippery and good at dodging stuff. We've had another crystal pop up there. Um, it's only got four health though, which is a good, which is good news. So we should be able to take that one out without too much difficulty. So I think the correct thing to do here is for, well, actually, let's 
this one has to die because that's that's the absolute highest priority because it can get around here and kill all of my uh, all, all of my humanoid troops or I could possibly stasis it let's start let's start off with the officer uh, oh he needs a reload but that's fine because he's gonna be able to shoot afterwards and then we'll take a shot it's 94 percent on the hit hit the crystal that's an almost guaranteed which is pretty good um, didn't do a great deal of damage though which is unfortunate so let's follow it up with actually let's follow it if I follow it up with a shot from this guy. Because I want to know, I want to find out if I can put this into stasis and and meet me and um, just to, to, just to spread things out, spread the uh, abuse out a little bit. So you, I want you to kill that chrysalid. Uh, you can do you, oh, you do exactly three damage. So if, if you hit, that's going to be a kill. There we go. That's what I needed. And now we can use the gatekeeper to hopefully take out the chrysalid that's right in front of it. No, that one. Um, because this is one is still more dangerous because it can attack. The the uh, anything gets burst out of the um, out of the pod thing over here uh, can't. And so now I'm going to see if I can put it into stasis. Uh, not you. You can you cast stasis on that? You you actually can. Hmm. Now it's sort of. I don't know whether it's worth it because I don't think we can. I don't know if we can do 20 points of damage in the next turn to stop that thing attacking. It might be easier just to let it spawn its second chrysalid, and then shoot it, shoot the chrysalid down with these things, and then and carry on regardless. So I think what I'll actually do is I'll just stick him on Overwatch, and then hopefully when the chrysalid pops out, we'll just straight up shoot it, and we'll put him onto hunker down. Now there we go. Let's see, second chrysalid has come out. Okay, that's still wibbling. I thought there, I thought you only, for some reason I thought you only got two chrysalids out of one of these things. Maybe I should have. Okay, no, it's, it stopped wibbling now. I think that's now harmless. So now, once again, we we perform the um, the stand, stand, standard uh, standard thing of everybody shoot the chrysalid until it's dead, <laughs> as dead as possible. Another massive roll of thunder. Uh, not related to the game at all, of course. All right, there we go. So we've got them both. We've got both of them down, and now we're in a, a sort of a, a sort of safe position. So the next thing to do will be, I suppose, I would say it would be to advance slowly up the road, but I'm not sure I want to at this point because I don't have a great deal of, um, I don't have, I, I don't have a great deal of firepower left. So if I'm try, if I was trying to hurry and race the clock, then I'd rush the gatekeeper up the, up over here and probably trigger another pod. And it does have a lot of health, so it's going to be able to take quite a lot more attacks. But I think actually it's probably more sensible to just play it safe for now. Maybe move the scientist up a little bit like this, um, and see if see if anyone else needs to do any reloading, you know, important stuff like that. So and actually, you know, he's got he's still got three rounds left. The gatekeeper doesn't need to reload, and that's that's those are the only ones I've got left. So let's let's put him onto Overwatch, and end the turn. The building explodes, as, as is traditional. Um, my, my score potential goes down a little bit, but, you know, that's going to happen anyway. Okay, so now let's continue with the advance. So we'll move the, uh, move the gatekeeper to here. See if we spot anything. Is there another pod? No, there, there probably won't be, actually, because we got the, chrys we got the uh, mind control chrysalid up this far. Uh, so I think we're probably safe at least for another move. So let's now do some advancing. In fact, let's send the, um, the trooper up top to go and rescue that other resistance fighter and get him to come and join the party. Um, so that's you. I want you to go... Well, where, where was the resistance go? Actually, no, he's all the way along here. No, we won't, we won't go up there yet. We'll, uh, we'll stick, stick, stick at ground level and just advance, advance a little bit more slowly. Oh, that's my ten-minute warning. I should stop talking quite so much and, carry, and actually just, you know, play the game. <laughs> And we'll move the office. Uh, actually, let's move. Let's move him up a bit further because I think having a bit more uh, cover is going. Ha ha having the uh, having him a bit closer, further forward is going to be much more useful. Um, where's the priest gone? Oh, the priest is there. Okay, so that looks like a reasonably good position for everyone. Um, you can run up to. I don't know. Run up to this car and hide, hunker down behind it. I guess. Um, I don't think there's going to be any enemies behind us. I'm sw I think I'm doing a reasonably good job of just sort of sweeping, so I don't want to. Um, so so I, I feel okay leaving him leaving him behind like that, even if this building keeps make scaring me by uh, by exploding like that. So where is where is the way out? It's sort of it's this sort of general direction, isn't it? Um, okay, it's, it's over here. So we need to carry on to this junction and then turn right, and we are actually getting quite close now. So let's let's skedaddle forwards to about here. Smash the car door off on the way past. Fine. Okay. Still nothing. Still no enemies. I'm going to continue keeping the uh, the priest 
significant and and the the humanoids basically significantly further back because they can't take the attacks from the chrysalids, whereas the the gatekeeper can. It's much much tougher. So uh, we'll keep them huddled back behind this car and use the gate. And as I say, use the gatekeeper as the as the point point sphere. I can't say point man, can I? Uh, all right, run him, run the trooper forwards as well. Though put him by, put him by this uh, pipe, and he can he can potentially go up there in the next turn because we do still have this one guy up here who's not too far away at this point. And the scientist, we need to keep him reasonably close by as well. So we'll bring him up and keep him at the keep him at the back of the squad. Okay, does anyone have Overwatch? Yes, you can do an Overwatch, and you can do an end turn. Okay, we have another turn, and we're all right. Okay, so we are very nearly there now. Um, the question is, is there any? Are there any? Um, are there any chrysalids left? So let's move over here. Have a bit of a recce. And a, bit, a little bit of destruction on the way through as well. No, it seems to be quiet. Okay, so next plan, next next part of the plan is to move him up to here. And hopefully that's going to be close enough to tag that guy. And to be honest, the Advent Troopers... I think the Advent Troopers might actually be slightly better. Okay, it's not quite close enough. I think the Advent Troopers might be slightly better than the Resistance Fighters simply because they're carrying slightly better guns. They're all pretty terrible, to be honest. Okay, it's it's starting to look very quiet over here, like like we might actually almost be safe, which is quite impressive. Um, I think I'm just going to move him to here, tuck him in behind this truck. But yeah, things are looking pretty good. Um, I feel like we're not, we don't have too many. We, we might be able to. Well, we can see the exit now, so it's not quite in dashing distance yet. But I feel like we might be able to get there without uh, without fighting any more enemies. But we shall find out. Okay, uh, tag. Right. Okay. So we've not seen any more. Uh, we can now. We actually ha ha almost can dash into the uh, into the into the exit with him now. But let's move the uh, move the gatekeeper forwards first. Smash through everything just to make sure there aren't any chrysalids lurking just just up here, just past the exit zone, who are going to come down and, and bite his face off when he never when he moves to well here. Um, but I think we might have dealt with them all at this point. I'm um, cautiously optimistic that we might be able to leave without anything else happening to us. Uh, let's move the uh, VIP up as well. And next turn, we should be able to evacuate basically everybody. I think. Um, there, were, I think the, that said, I think the um, the Advent Trooper who went up to rescue the Resistance soldier isn't going to be able to get quite as close because he had to do a very small move. We'll move him to here. <laughs> Just jump straight off the side. Fine, you do you do you. I don't I don't care about that. And we'll come over here and we'll flank the. Um, Flank VIP just in case anything does show up, but I think we're now I think we're safe and we can now just bail on the uh, on the mission. So let's get this guy out first, just because. In fact, you know what? Let's let's not worry about who goes first. Let's just move everyone into the uh, into the exit zone and then we can get out of here. I suspect it probably would have been possible to do the mission more quickly than this. Um, I could have run through it perhaps slightly faster. I don't think I could have killed all the chrys. If I'd yeah, if I'd not got that guy killed by the chrysalid, then we'd have had a bit less shooting to do, and we'd probably have got here about two turns sooner because there would have been so many fewer chrysalids to uh, to deal with. That said, we've made it. We're all in the um, evac zone except for the uh, the guy who unfortunately got eaten. And so, let's get out of here. Um, why do I not have an evac all button? I guess I'll just have to do everyone individually. <laughs> so, thank you for watching Lawrence Plays. This has been a slightly more interesting uh, run than the previous XCOM one, because with 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 the uh, with the more interesting... Um, <laughs> no, no animation for that one. With the more interesting soldiers, there's a bit more potential for a little bit of tactical thinking. And so, yeah, there are a couple of things I wish I'd done differently. I think I should have, as I say, I, sh I should have been a bit more careful with that uh, resistance soldier I, I um, rescued first and tried to keep him a bit further away from the chrysalid so he didn't get poked and poisoned. But other than that, things went pretty well. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for next week Next week for the uh, for the next uh, mission, one of these missions. Uh, let's just see what the score is before we go. 22,000 points. I honestly don't actually know whether that's good or not. I do know, oh, it's about, it's more than half the available points, so I don't think I did too badly. Um, but yeah, if I'd, if I'd not got that one guy killed, it would have been much better, because partly I'd have got more points for, uh, you know, keeping him alive, but also I'd have uh, finished about two turns sooner, and probably a few minutes sooner as well. Uh, also, may, I don't know whether I'd have got necessarily got more points, because it depends how many points you get for keeping someone alive, versus how many you get for killing enemies, because we had an extra two chrysalids to kill because of him dying. I would like to think that the game would be balanced so that keeping him alive would be better though. So, I'll, uh, I'll next time I'll try and keep everyone alive. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you next time.
have been told. Secure any additional operatives if possible, but make sure you get our contacts at the evac point. We have a visual confirmation of the VIP. Remember, getting that VIP to the extraction point supersedes all other priorities. Don't let anything happen to them. accomplished, Commander. 